Hello everyone, this is John from Use Basic Motorsports coming to you, to you today on a real quick how-to video and what we're doing is we're replacing a uh, auto meter oil pressure gauge. This is the example of a gauge, this is a faulty gauge that we replaced. What happened to it is it exploded within itself dropping oil inside of the car itself, which is obviously everyone knows not a good thing. So give you a couple examples. This actually holds the gauge in place in the actual instrument cluster. Now to actually take this apart and replace that gauge right there, which is the oil pressure gauge, literally what I had to do is disconnect that brake line that goes to the brake pressure gauge and then also on the side there is a switch or a line that I use for my tack that records plays back and so on and so forth there are three nuts as you can see there's one there there and there those three literally have to come off then you can literally we can pull the front plate off of this and then I pull it out and I lay it down with a rag on the center console or on the steering column of the race car at this point I have already taken the 4AN fitting and braided line that goes from the bulkhead 90 degree fitting to the back of the oil pressure gauge off please stay tuned for the next part of the video. Now what you'll do is you will remove the 4AN fitting from the back of the faulty gauge as you can see. Then there is this piece that literally sits over the top of this that holds the gauge in place. There are four, two small nuts that you take off from either one of these. Take that out and then you can actually then push the gauge out of this front panel where all the rest of the gauges are located. Then you can simply reinstall the hold down bracket with the two nuts that holds the gauge in place to the actual instrument panel itself. Then attach then reinstall everything back in, neatly tucking away all the wires and everything so everything is neat out of the way. You attach the wire on the side that goes for the playback tack. Then you come over here and reinstall the line for the brake line that goes to the pressure gauge for the brakes. Then you tighten down the 4AN fitting that's in the back of the oil pressure gauge, the 916 inch open end wrench. Then at that time, you don't forget, you'll have to bleed the brakes because you we took off that line for the brakes. So we definitely got air in the line. So before you do anything or after you got this thing installed, you want to bleed the brake system to be sure that there is no air in it at all. With this, you also have to hook up the low pressure oil warning light. There's two uh, simple uh, uh, screws back in the back of the pressure oil sending unit that's in the back that's installed onto the uh, oil pressure gauge. So those have to be installed and that is simply if the oil pressure falls below in this case I have 15 pounds. This light will illuminate telling me that I'm out of oil pressure or very low on oil pressure and I need to stop it before I blow things up. So that needs to be installed and then obviously when you're finished with this you have to turn your car on 
put power to the battery i mean to the car then find out to be sure that everything works the idiot light works and then obviously you know you're going to have to check to be sure the gauge and everything else works so anyway folks that's kind of what it is in a nutshell real fast uh, please go on to youtube like my video subscribe to use basic motorsports on youtube we're also on facebook linkedin twitter instagram uh, across all platforms pretty much and of course go see our site at usebasicmotorsports.com we'd love to see you till next time thank you very much for your time